Today what we're going to look at is Adobe Dreamweaver CS3. This is going to be a very basic tutorial, just an introduction to the program. We're not going to look at how to use the program or how to use the tools. We're just going to focus on the layout so that way you can start exploring on your own and um, to lay a foundation for future tutorials. When you first open up the program, what you'll see is the welcome screen. And on the left here, we have uh, recent items that you can quickly access that you've been working on. Uh, we have in the center here, you can create new files. And on the right side here, you can create from samples, which is basically just a, a template. Uh, it gives you just different options to, to choose from. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to click on Create HTML. And this is what you will get. At the top of the screen, we have our title bar that shows the program that we're using. It'll show the name of the file, which isn't saved right now, so it's just untitled. And then the file extension. Below that, we have our different uh, menus, which is where we'll start. Uh, for those of you who are new to the Adobe products, you might be more familiar with using menus if uh, you're used to Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. Uh, this might be the most comfortable for you in the beginning. Um, as you can see on the right side here, we have um, keyboard shortcuts, which once you get used to the program, those will save you quite a bit of time if you, if you can learn those. Um, but so for example uh, we can open new files or create new files here open ones uh, access our recent documents save save as we can print our code and we can preview in browsers okay just to kind of get an idea of what it'll look like in the browser so those are kind of the more of the interesting ones here in the edit menu here one thing I'd like to show you is the preferences. We can click on that. And this gives us a list of different categories where we can customize our program. Once you start working with it a lot, you'll find you know you like certain things and you don't like other things and you want to tweak the program a little bit. This is where we can come. So for example, if I didn't want that show welcome screen to appear in the beginning, I could just check that and click OK. Um, view menu. To zoom in and out, you can just press Control and the plus sign to zoom in. And to zoom out would be Control and the minus sign. You can set it to specific magnifications. Okay, We can also look at code, design, and then split view, or code and design. All right, by default, it'll appear as the design view. Notice the background there. Um, I'm going to switch to code now. So as I said earlier, there's quicker ways of doing things. So we can also access this right here. So if I want to go back to design, back to code, or if I want to see both at the same time. If you don't know code, this is a great way to learn it. Um, you can see the code while you while you create. So um, you can also adjust these windows. Just put your cursor down where the, until you get the two arrows. You need one to be bigger than the other. This is generally how I work in the split design. Um, also in the view menu, for those of you who are more designers, we have rulers in here grid options, and guide options. I'm not going to go through all of these. I just want to hit some of the highlights. We have insert menu, modify, text, commands, site. If we go to new site, there's some options there. We'll cover that in another tutorial. Uh, window menu basically controls all your panels. So if you're ever looking for something in one of your panels, you don't know where it's at, you go to the window menu. Now, panels are located here on the right side. Right now, they're minimized. If I click on this triangle, I can see what's located inside that panel. 
each panel will have a group. This has files, assets, and snippets. Okay. Um, each panel also has its own menu right, located right here. If I click on that menu, it gives you options. Uh, for example, close panel. Okay. You can edit your keyboard shortcuts. Uh, so just for future reference, if I'm talking about a panel menu, that's where to, to go to. Okay, this panel includes attributes and behaviors. Um, and again, if you forget where something is, okay, if you don't know where the assets are, you can just go to the window menu and click on it and it'll appear. And then the last menu here is the help menu. Uh, you can just press F1 to access the help. It's very, I encourage you to use it. It's a great resource to have. Anytime you're stuck, I would recommend using that first. Um, below our menus, we have the insert toolbar. You can minimize it and maximize it. It includes seven groups, common layout forms, data, spry, text, favorites. And each one has its own uh, group of icons and if you put your cursor over it you can it'll give you a little screen tips of what they do um, so for example if I click on date it's going to give me an option here I'm going to click OK and you can see that it's going to insert the date now if I go to split view you can see the code to it it just entered in the date into my body okay um, so you can start playing around with that, taking a look at it, seeing what you can do. The last couple things here I want to show you are at the bottom. We have our status bar, which is this bar down here, uh, with some quick selection tools. We have a selection tool, hand tool if we need to grab and move things or move our screen around. Uh, zoom tool, if you just want to draw a box around an area you can zoom in okay we can also set the magnification again a quicker way to do it than using the view menu this is our window size and this is we'll refer to quite a bit this is the file size and the download time and at the bottom here we have our properties inspector and Based on what you have highlighted or selected, uh, that'll the options will change. So, for example, my date is highlighted or selected. Maybe uh, just heading one, and you can see that it changed. So you have different options to play with, um, and we'll get more into those options in other tutorials. The other thing that you'll want to pay attention to is um, these little arrows a lot of times we're concerned about the real estate of what we're working with uh, we want to make sure that we can see everything so these little arrows here will minimize and maximize this one will minimize and maximize the properties inspector this one to the right will minimize and maximize our panels So there you have it. That is the basic workspace of Adobe Dreamweaver.